from an uncertainty perspective, one of the biggest challenges that we have as we think about our five-year program is at what level do we put federal dollars in? All right, that's always the biggest question for our Transportation Commission. And, and we have uh, made a conscious choice to essentially leave it the same. So we, wherever we figure that number is, for us actually at the state level is about $309 because I know it. And we put that, plug that in for five years, and we're, we're not expecting any change from that. And um, so all businesses, everyone functions with uncertainty. You know, that's why I always say if, you know, we in the transportation industry can't say that, uh, that everything has to be spelled out for six to 12 years. That's the only way we can plan because I think we're always constantly making plans uh, in those windows. And, and the, the big thing for, uh, for us is uh, a couple things to remember is number one, uh, you have to spend your own money to get federal dollars, okay? So you have to spend state dollars. This is always a shock to a lot of communities, by the way, because they think that you just hand them, you know, hey, here's $500,000. Oh, you know, no, you have to spend your own money to get reimbursed uh, the federal dollars. So, you, so there's cost to that. And, uh, and for a lot of states, they've all made different choices. We, uh, and, and I feel very strongly that we need to continue to move forward and expect the dollars to come. Okay, and the reason is the most important uh, piece that, and this is something we advocated uh, during our cash tax discussion, is turning the money. You have to get the money into the infrastructure as quick as you can because there's a cost to it. Okay, and if we make a conscious choice to move money off, which we could because there's some instability, uh, we would lose like significant construction windows. We're it's not uh, 70 degrees every day in Iowa, you, as you may know. We have winter. Uh, we can't do necessarily all construction activities. So if we started to move projects off, economically, it could have a tremendous impact on our state because some of those improvements are critically required not only for uh, citizens and people for us just to move around the state, uh, but for business movement. And, and so from, from uh, my perspective, I thought it was very important that we just continue the program. So we're continuing it at risk, right? Uh, funds could run out. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I've run the calculation. We know that our cash flow could go negative, uh, uh, probably come uh, shortly here this summer. And, uh, and that will have severe consequence. And my belief is, uh, if that happens, uh, there is going to be severe uh, uh, outlash in that sense because of Congress and that of them not dealing with the issue, it causes us to go uh, negative uh, in our cash flow and it has a dramatic effect uh, for us to try to finance dollars or do some other things so we can just continue to pay you know, our contractors. Um, I really believe there would be significant cons uh, consequence for uh, Congress overall. And, uh, but in that same sense, that's why I come back to, as a steward of the transportation system, having responsibility to manage what, what we think is the, uh, making the right investments, uh, it's very important for us to continue that process. You know, that's the biggest difference is uh, for all of us sitting up here, we actually have to deliver work, all right? It has to happen every day. Uh, and, um, and or there are significant consequences for us specifically, <laughs> and so and and so we can't you know uh, not make decisions or say we'll do it next year. Um, we we actually have to do projects, uh, handle winter operations, do maintenance. It has to happen every single day.